Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video about NBA 2K21. So before we get into the rants of all rants, I want to tell you guys all the information that I have up until now, including the information that just dropped today. So today they ended up dropping a little TikTok trailer or TikTok promo with Anthony Davis. Pretty dope. I'll tell you about that in a second. But in the middle of June, 2K decided to drop like a little commercial with like a bunch of different uh, musicians. Uh, one of my homies, Stax Montana, was in there as a creator. So I'm pretty happy to see that they were doing something with that. And then a few days later, um, hashtag ad was like going crazy on Twitter. What happened was 2K decided to send out a gift box to a couple of creators that happened to go to some of the community events and launch days and a lot of those creators had like redacted uh things and everything but what we got out of the information was that about you know early july which is in a few days probably about a week away they will be dropping three different covers back to back to back i'll tell you about that in a second but within that we also got the 2k day which is usually the day that the game is dropping whether it's early for pre-orders or the day of like the big game launch which is like this huge party that 2k throws every year i actually went to last year's party and the game actually came out on the same day so whatever day 2k day is i believe it's like early september no it's nowhere like like mid or not like that it got to be early september they will drop the game most likely on that day but let's talk about an information that dropped today so anthony davis was on a tiktok video which 2k posted on their channel not his 2k is trying to build their social media following on tiktok so i already know why they're doing that but within that tiktok they have june 30th july 1st and july 2nd they will drop a cover athlete every single day for three days straight now if you guys know what june 30th is it's on the tuesday which means it will be right in the middle of the week you won't have to worry about the weekend where some outlets or media won't get the information they're going to make sure that they probably will send out all the info needed on monday and they will probably have the media outlets hold up their end with with not posting that information I guarantee you it's going to be a leak though because there's always a leak when 2k wants to drop info like uh, a few days ago and even yesterday they had dropped like you know info dropping soon and they were like kind of like playing with the whole anthony davis tiktok thing trying to do the reveal and then today they ended up dropping a like for 2k news and i'm like look at y'all trying to get y'all likes up i see y'all but you know it, it's all good but um if you guys want to see that little tiktok video you guys can go over tiktok do what you do or i could just put it on screen right now And we're back. Um, yeah, it's not really much to it. Just Anthony Davis pointing out um, the days that the cover is coming out. But my thoughts are that they probably will have a regular standard edition. They'll probably have like a like a digital type edition. And they'll probably have like one of those crazy legend editions like they always have. Like they had Shaq. They had LeBron. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that it's Kobe though. You know what I mean? If they don't drop a legendary Kobe edition, like I'll, I'm going to be upset. But um, also the standard edition they have to do something with zion because i don't zion has been in their promo campaign a lot for the last two years like the the, the boy the boy only been in the nba for, for a short run you know what i mean but they stay keeping him in a promo campaign i don't see them not using him because it's like one of the best promo campaigns that you could do but if they don't use him you know what i mean it's all speculation right but um what else is on the list um after the cover athletes get announced you guys have to take a look at what 2k has been doing on their social media recently they've been asking about who your favorite creators are i'm hoping you guys have been telling them me and thank you to everyone who has um also they've been comparing stats of players like who's better what's the who, who's the better rookie who's the better offensive threat you know what i mean they've been talking about builds i'm telling you now they will be dropping info about screenshots about uh players their overalls um i know that right after that they're probably going to be talking about like the the scheme of like how you're going to build this stuff i know that creators are going to get involved with pushing out news and stuff like that and guess what i'm gonna be here for all of it just like y'all are so you know what i mean make sure you guys check in and tune in with me but um it's time to rant 2k uh you're coming out with three covers right you know this is a digital age, right? 
what's the point of coming out with three different covers? I'm guessing all in US, American, North America, whatever. Why come out with three covers when you know that people are going to be dropping all this money on those and all these people are getting PS5 digital edition consoles? You know what I mean? Also, players that are on Xbox, if you guys are doing the whole being able to jump to the next gen, why make everybody buy different covers? I'm I'm so lost. I mean, maybe it's dope because certain people want certain covers. Like when I remember when MJ uh, cover came out, then he had the Larry Bird and all that. I remember I want an MJ cover. I ain't gonna cap. I want an MJ cover. I was hype. You know what I mean? Stupid hype. Like yo, I got MJ. None of y'all do. Y'all stink. But in all honesty, with the way that digital is taking over the game, why not just make fifty covers? You know what I mean? Why not? You know what? Okay, I'm sorry. Why don't you make every cover for the top 25 players in the NBA of that previous season? I think that would be a good idea, but that's just me. You know what I mean? Especially if you're going digital. Some people won't, wouldn't like to see the same cover on their digital console every year. You know what I mean? What, what if, you know what? I don't want to, you know what? I am going to rant. I'm still going to rant. Okay, check this out. So when I made my uh, NBA 2K21 wish list, right? And I wanted you guys to make the game like how Fortnite and Call of Duty and everything with these seasons and stuff is happening. I wanted you guys to do that. I wanted y'all to change the covers up, you know what I mean? Throughout the year, you know what I mean? Put a 2021 to 2022 season and all of that. I know COVID hit, it was a whole lot of stuff, but I think y'all really should go with that idea, yo. I think the covers should change from month to month of the power rankings. I feel like, you know what I mean? If we're going in a digital era, like, let me see if I got a copy of 2K real quick. All right, so Pete, I got I got a cover of 2K, right? So, Anthony Davis cover, right? Pretty dope cover, cool and dandy, right? But a lot of people didn't get this cover. A lot, a lot of people did not get this cover. This, you wanna know what's so funny? This is a collectible item here. I wanna know inside the comment section, how many people have this cover? This cover right here, all right? I want you guys, if you have this cover, say, yo, I dead ass got that cover. If you curse, I don't care. I will I will approve any comment that says, I dead ass had this copy, all right? So if you do have this cover, right, and it's a collectible, right? I think if 2K is gonna come out with three different covers, every single cover should be a collectible. This is the last iteration of last gen. When y'all go to next gen, yeah, I know y'all still gonna have to make copies because not many people are gonna be able to upgrade from uh, PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox uh, Series X. But for this to be the last iteration before next gen, every single copy you make should be a collectible. All right, every single cover, man. I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, people are gonna be spending sixty to a hundred, and I don't even know if y'all go back to one hundred fifty dollars for a, a video game. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but if you guys are gonna be having three different copies, and you know the price may vary with the VC, the pre-order bonus, and all that, at least make the cover a collectible. How? What y'all think about that? Like, I'm, I'm just saying, what y'all think? A collectible. I think that's fire. But uh, back to the rant. Also, 2K. I see what y'all doing. I see what y'all doing out there. Y'all getting y'all social media numbers up, huh? Say we gotta go ahead and grow that TikTok, huh? That was y'all doing. I, I see y'all. Y'all smart. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all. Y'all pretty smart. Y'all like. You know what? We got the numbers over here. We got the numbers over there. Whoever's running social over there, I gotta clap it up. I gotta clap it up for you, man, because you're doing a really good job. I cannot lie, you are doing a very good job. But uh, I need you to send me all the info first, okay? So I can make my YouTube videos, okay? Thanks. That's all I got for you guys, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as the news drops for 2K, when it's huge, huge, like groundbreaking news, I will make a video on that specific thing or topic immediately. If it's a couple little dabbles, of, you know what I mean? A little, 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 little salt bay real quick. 
I'll I'll combine it all into a video like I did today, just like you know with the news about the actual ads and you know what I mean the the trailer with the Migos in it and the actual TikTok video. I just wanted to condense it all into one video because I felt like it just wasn't enough. You know what I mean? Now that we have dates, I'm feeling a little bit better about things. So remember, June 30th, July 1st. July 2nd, I'm guessing just look out for their social medias. You know what I mean? They'll probably paste the cover all over the place. I will be making a video for each cover. You know what I mean? My thoughts on that because you know how 2K do, man. They want to drop a cover and then put all these little, ooh, what's that? What's that over there? Ooh, um, mm, darn, that's a bridge. Oh, oh, look at that. Is that a Ferris wheel? Ooh, is that a palm tree? Ooh, affiliations. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? They get us real hype. They do it to us every year. They get us real hype. You know what I mean? Then we got to, you know what I'm saying, get slapped back into reality. You feel me? But it is what it is. I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will holla at you on the next one. Bye.